Yo, what's up guys, Perfection here, and today, as you can see, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make Rius Grimmery. So, Jamie Markey pretty much ruined the Rius Grimmery character for High School DXD, but I'm gonna be redeeming her. I'm gonna be rebuilding her reputation uh, through Jump Force and Rank Matches, but in this first video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get to this, how to make Rius Grimmery, so that you can have her in her, your game and help me rebuild the reputation of Rhea's Grimmery because we want to disassociate her from Jamie Markey in every way, shape, form, and fashion. So let's go ahead. We'll go to uh, create female, obviously. Um, move set is really up to your preference. Uh, you can go with the Goku fighting style, the Luffy fighting style, or of, co uh, of course the Naruto fighting style. Now, I'm going to go with the Naruto fighting style for this one, and I'm, I'm not going to keep her. I'm going to delete this uh, CAC slot and keep on doing tutorial videos like this. So let me know if you enjoy the video by hitting it with a like, and also subscribe and click that notification bell for more content from this channel. So uh, let's go ahead and we got to make sure that she is thick, because thick is important, like uh, having nice thighs to throw out lethal kicks that's going to be important uh, also uh, height could just be your preference I mean we don't want to make make her Amazon height but let's keep it down to you know about right there now we can also go in the most important part and we need to make sure of this max size and I, I mean I'll save that for another video. Uh, let's see. Hairstyle. Now, this is going to be very important. So, the hairstyle that you're going to want to use. Uh, let me find it. No. Nope. Oh, there we go. So, this is the Rius Grimmery hairstyle. Uh, it's right next to... Uh, Boa's hairstyle or Boa Hancock's hairstyle. So you can go with this hairstyle. This is the Rius Grimmery hairstyle right here. So most important part, the red crimson hair. And I feel like that's good enough right there. You really don't have to play around with the shading or anything like that or the highlights because it's already good enough on its own. Uh, back out. And there you go. Now you can play around with the hair color if you want to, but I feel like that's good enough. Uh, let's see. Now the eyebrows may have been good enough on their own, but we have other important work to do on those. Uh, you can go with any expression that you want to. You can go with angry expression, questioning expression. But we want to give her a combat ready face here, so of course, uh, match the eye color or the hair color, but darken it a bit. That's pretty good. Ears don't have to worry about them. Eyes are also sort of important. I wish they would put a number for these. Like that's something that they ne uh, definitely need to do an update for. Uh, putting the numbers next to the parts so that I can make uh, a clear map of what I've used. Uh, I, most uh, CAC games do that, but for some reason Jump Force doesn't. It's weird. Uh, so you want to go with the biggest uh, eye size for her. Oh, let me play around with that for a bit. Because she's got big, beautiful blue eyes. That's what you want to go for. So, uh, I feel like that size would uh, suffice. That eye color would uh, suffice. So, we go to the left eye. Do the same thing. You don't even have to... You don't have to change it now if you don't want to. 
Now, I feel like maybe I need to go a size bigger on the uh, the eye shape. I think that might actually be a little too big. I mean, it's down to personal preference. But I think I'm going to go a size smaller. It's just a little too big there. Let's see, no size. She doesn't have a ridiculously big nose, so there you go. You want to shorten that a bit. Mouth and jaw. Let's see. So I would actually say... Uh, yeah, something like that. There you go. Now, you don't have to mess around with features unless you just want to. Uh, voice. I went with voice six, I think. So there you go. That's Rias Grimory uh, from top from start to finish. Now we can go ahead and enter the game. Uh, I'm just gonna call this one Rias Grimory two, so I know uh, which one to delete. Which thankfully it doesn't really matter in Jump Force because. Uh, if one CAC is a high level, every last one of them are a high level and they all carry over story progression. Uh, this is something that Xenoverse took a while to pick up on and they still haven't gotten it exactly right. But it's breathtaking, uh, refreshing to see a CAC game get it right. So there, there you go, that's Rius Grimmery and now we're going to play around with uh, the outfit. Because you can, I mean the outfit again... Uh, I would go with what I've already selected, but we can look at some other options. And this is weird. For some reason, uh, they've separated the uh, CAC user interface so that you actually have to go about loading into the uh, the on the online hub and then go right back out to actually get to the clothing options. I mean, that's ridiculous. I, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Why why aren't they one and the same? Da, 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 da. Come on, come on, load, load, load. I don't even think I'm gonna edit this part out. I think we, we're just gonna call this the negative part of Jump Force. I mean, it's not the longest loading time I've ever seen, but it's still long. 64%, come on. You ain't loading that dang on much. Uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> we gotta go to customize avatar. It'll take you right back out of the uh, hub world. Okay, so as you can see, now you get the uh, clothing options. So uh, let's see. I have all the manga shirt packs and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Um, I feel like they should have spruced that up a bit. Let me see if I can get an interesting combo off of that. So I mean, you could do this. This looks pretty good. Yeah. So if you want to go uh, normy. You could go, you could uh, use this outfit for Rhea's Grimmery, and it look and it looks pretty good. But uh, if you want to go true thickness, which I recommend you do, you you gotta go with this outfit. It, it's a requirement for uh, for combat optimized purposes. Uh, anyways, let's see hands, nothing there. Feet uh, really is down to personal preference, but I like these uh, boots because they, for agility, it's special, oh no, I, I don't, I don't know, no, that, that's uh, stifling her too much, she doesn't need, she doesn't need uh, socks, she, she's brave enough to go on boots alone, uh, doesn't need a scouter, because she can, she all, she's aware of her opponent's power level, so there you go, that's Rhea's Grimmery, and uh, we're going to sign out and actually compare her to the first one that I made.
Again, I feel like Jump Force needs to add numbers to their create parts because it would it would be so much better to just have real numbers to go ahead and say, oh, use I I type or I set twelve to get blah blah blah. Look, come on, I'm not ninety nine percent. Come on now. Okay, so we're gonna sign out. And there we go. So we have Rius Grimory, and we have Rius Grimory. So yeah, this one looks um, slightly. I, I feel like the first one I made was better, but uh, you can still follow the guy. They look essentially the same, but I can tell that. Oh yeah, I made her eyes a shade bluer. I can definitely see that uh, just just looking at it. And I think I'm gonna remove those leggings because I want to have her. Uh, at optimized speed because I mean the, the leggings are just a distraction so I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, that's been how to create Rias Grimmery and sometime later this week we're gonna do some ranked matches and I might even do a build video because builds do matter in Jump Force so I, I hope you guys enjoy all this future content that is coming down and I will see you in the next video peace <laughs>